Morning. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham and state health officials announced that New Mexico is on track to begin easing into some reopenings and moving into phase one of the recovery plan based on the gating criteria data. The stay-at-home instructions will remain in effect and congregations of more than five remains prohibited. However, on May 16th, all retailers that sell goods directly to consumers may operate at 25% of their fire code capacity with COVID safe practices in place. Public health orders requiring face coverings for the general public in any public setting will also be put into effect on Saturday. Other non-essential businesses able to operate at specific occupancy levels are office spaces and call centers operating with up to 25% of pre-crisis staffing levels and houses of worship may operate at 10%. Retail spaces not included are entertainment venues such as movie theaters, concert halls, or amusement parks. The governor stated that the goal is to reach the second part of phase one of the economic recovery by early June. She stated that doing so depends on the data that will be received from this light reopening phase. Part two of phase one will include further lessening of restrictions on salons, barbers, gyms, indoor malls, and dine-in restaurants. It will also include a potential expansion of occupancy limits for houses of worship and hotels and motels. Per the press conference yesterday, there will be modified slash limited summer youth programs with the following restrictions. In-person summer programs and sport camps will be restricted to five to one child to adult ratios for children who live in the local geographic area only. Student and staff groupings should be self-contained by having the same staff staying with the same children. High risk staff and children are advised to not participate. Sports programs must be restricted to contactless sports only and non competitive play. Mayor Morris, together with the city manager, emergency management director, police chief, and fire chief will hold an informational presentation at 3.30 p.m. today to provide information regarding Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's press conference of May 13th. A dramatic drop in commercial air traffic at New Mexico's largest airport and a predicted slow recovery is expected to result in a revenue loss of an estimated $31 million for Albuquerque's aviation operations from fiscal year 2020 to 2022. The Albuquerque International Sunport is getting more than $19.7 million in grant money as part of federal relief efforts aimed at easing financial fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. After a great deal of thought and consideration, the Portales Municipal Schools Board of Education has approved a plan for a graduation ceremony. On May 23rd at 10 a.m., a driving graduation will be held throughout the town, starting at the High School Ram Athletic Center parking lot. Although graduates, parents, and guests must remain in their cars during the ceremony, when it is time to distribute diplomas, graduates will be able to leave their vehicles with social distancing in mind and walk across the stage to receive their diplomas. Parents, along with their household family and graduate, will have reserved parking to the west of the Ram Athletic Center at Portales High School. Others will be able to park in the band practice area of the parking lot with the entrance from Amazon Street to the north of the rack. Following the graduation, senior families and guests will be dismissed in an orderly manner and can participate in a senior graduation parade that will travel from the high school to e and conclude on South Avenue O. Other important information for Portales students and parents. After Friday, May 15th, there will be no more assignments required. Some high school students may need to complete semester exams that week or finish turning in any late assignments they may have. School officials will be asking parents who borrowed Chromebooks to return them beginning on May 18th. Report cards will be mailed to parents the week of the 25th. Summer school will be canceled for all students. Instead, school officials are creating plans for additional interventions, after-school programs, and other innovative ideas to help students who may need additional help when they return in the fall. The City of Portales' administration has been notified that water services will be temporarily interrupted for maintenance work in the 2100 block of South Avenue H, which may affect several blocks around the area. The work to be completed may take longer than today. Plan your travels away from the area for your safety and watch for men and equipment. New Mexico is woefully short of professionals devoted to contact tracing that can alert people who are exposed unknowingly to the coronavirus. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham stated that the state needs at least 670 people for telephone debriefings to effectively trace contacts involving infections. The comments came Wednesday, nearly a month after the state embarked on a related pilot program with the federal government in at least two other states. Little has been said publicly about the program since then.